Okay, let's start using Google Sites as a replacement for what's used here Blackboard. So we're here at google.com and we want to go to sites.google.com. And you see here you can sign in with your Google account and if you have a Gmail account you can just enter that in. Um, I have a Gmail account but I'll sign up using a different email address to show you how to do that. So click here on sign up for sites. Okay, and once you're here on Sign Up for Sites, you can use any email address you want. So I created an email address just for this example. And we'll choose a password that's long enough. And remember this password because it might not be your password from your Yahoo email address, although you can make it the same. You don't have to check either of these boxes here. You just type in the word you see. Okay. And scroll down and see accept create my account. And your account was created. So they emailed jacob.sanchez76yahoo.com. So the next step will be to go to that email address and do the verification email. So we need to check our Yahoo Mail, which I have here. And you'll get an email from accounts no reply at google.com. So to activate your account, you just click on the following link or you can copy and paste it into a new window. You should always copy and paste it into a new window. It's just a little safer. Yay, your email just verified, so it's now activated. So our next step will be to actually look into Google Sites and play around with it. Okay, so we go back to our Google account page that's already been activated. We can sign out. So now I enter in that email address. And sign in. And here you want to make your name show up instead of this email address. And what you click on to change your name is edit your personal info. And these are optional, but it's really good to put in your name so that when you make a comment on your site, it'll put your actual name instead of this email address. Save that. Go back. So the next thing you want to do is create a new site. So you go to sites.google.com or click on that link. And now click on create site. So we'll name this test example. And if it's allowed to be there, then you get a little check mark. This one's already taken. So we'll call it There we go. So that'll be our, our site. We'll be http colon slash slash sites dot google dot com slash site slash ist example one. And we'll make this public so that anyone can see it. You can pick a theme. And then again, type in the code shown to create a site. And the site was created. Okay, so now that we're at the home site, let's just see how it works. So you can see you're logged in to your email address. Google Sites to create a new page, edit the page. So you can edit this page, it's like a wiki, which means you can edit pretty much any of it pretty easily. You just click on edit page and you can, a word processor jumps out and you can create, you know, text or whatever you want.
And once you finish changing what you want and changing the font, you just press save. And it was that easy to change the home page. So you want to share your site with other people, like your students. So you do site settings, share this site. And you can set someone up, another TA or GA, to uh, own your site so they can make edits or collaborate or just view it if, they, if you don't want them to be able to write to the, any of the pages. So your students, you just enter in their email addresses or have them enter it here and you click invite and it'll send this to them with instructions of how to join the site and just say you know come join our example site and send this invitation so now he's one of the collaborators so the next thing you want to do is set up a place for your students to share information so we'll return to the site, clicking here. And you can see over here, we only have two, two links, the site homepage and a site map. So we want, we want to create a new page for discussion. So we have different options here to create a new page. Uh, one to make a simple blog for people to discuss is the announcements. And we'll call it discussion. Put page at the top level and create a page. So now here we are at discussion. Okay, but there's no link over here to discussion, so we want to create a link. So we want to go to site settings, change appearance, and if you come in here and look at navigation, you can edit the navigation. We see our two original pages. We want to add a third page, a link to the discussion page. And press OK. And here you have to make sure you click Save Changes to save the changes you made. Once the changes have been saved, you can return to the site. And now you see Discussion. So if you click on Discussion, you'll see you have new posts. So if you want to create a post, it's as easy as clicking New Post. You can change the title, Post. And save it. And you can see Post a minute ago by Jacob Sanchez. And it has my name in it because we set up names at the beginning. So it doesn't say jacob.sanchez76yahoo.com. So this is one specific blog post. To see all of them, you can click back on discussion or go back to and navigate to the home discussion. Here it is. And we can go back to it. And if you wanted to comment on it, say, great job, add a comment. So that's an easy way to make a blog secure for your own students and where they have a place to share their posts and comments on each other's work. Okay, thank you very much.